this is not a pun. <laughs> it's a representation of how student social entrepreneurship competitions operate. They're open at the top, they invite in a lot of people, little by little they judge them and sort them, and at the end, something comes out, an extraordinary individual, a change maker, someone who's gonna make a difference. I'm Peter Frumkin, I'm a professor at the University of Texas at Austin, but I'm also the founder and, uh, and, and, and gener generator of, of energy behind uh, the, uh, the global student competition sponsored by Dell. We call it the Dell Social Innovation Competition. We built a great team now to run this competition. And what I wanted to do is just reflect on one idea that we've been pondering about how to operate these uh, student social uh, innovation and entrepreneurship competitions. They've proliferated. There are some two dozen of them now around. Uh, they are doing great work. But they, they focus very heavily on one thing, which is what is coming out of that bottom of that funnel? What is that drop that comes out, those special people? And we've had a great experience in the past five years working with Dell in finding exceptional people who've done incredible things, electrifying uh, villages in rural India, solving uh, poverty and, uh, and desperation in the worst slums in Africa, fighting AIDS in Africa. We've had outstanding student social entrepreneurs come out of our competition. But we've gotten a bit questioning about this idea of one or two drops a year. And so what we've been thinking about the last few years as we've run the competition, and now as we step into a new massive expansion phase with Dell, is we don't want to focus on the bottom of the funnel. What we really want to focus on is the top. What we want to do is open up student social entrepreneurship competitions very broadly. So we're not restricting our competition to certain types of students. You don't have to be an MBA student. You don't have to be uh, uh, in a particular university. You don't have to be an undergraduate or a graduate student. We'll take any student, any university, any idea, for profit, nonprofit, anything, anywhere in the world. Uh, this year we had over 3,000 entries from 90 countries, and we want to go to 20,000 entries. And our goal is to create a torrent of, of energy, of students coming forward with ideas. We ask them to write a short dream paper, and then we, then we choose a smaller group to write full-blown venture plans. But we're more and more convinced that the big theory of change idea is not the quality one social venture plan that comes out every year. But what we like is the idea of thousands of people coming up with this idea how they're gonna change the world, this dream paper. So we're trying to invert the theory of change away from the kind of tip of the funnel to the top of the funnel. That's what we're working on. Uh, that's, our, that's our big idea. So next time you see a funnel, don't look at the bottom. <laughs> look at the top. That's 